Hi, fifth grade. There's one more social studies lesson for this week, and it's probably the most important and most information um, out of any of the lessons. And so we're on page 354 and 355 with our reading and our notes. And we're going to be talking about President Jefferson and Louisiana Purchase and Lewis and Clark. So lots of information all into two pages. Okay, so it says the nation grows. And remember, one note per paragraph, and there will be an assignment to complete at the end of this of these two pages. So that way I have something to grade for you. Um, so it says, think of a place that you've never visited. What would you ask someone who had been there? In the early 1800s, President Jefferson sent explorers to part of the North American continent that he had never seen. Okay, and we're going to find out why in just a minute. Okay, so President Jefferson. In 1800, Thomas Jefferson was elected the nation's third president. He was a member of a different political party than John Adams, who had been president before him. When Jefferson took office, the Federalist Party gave up its power to the Democratic-Republican Party. This change from one party to another was peaceful and democratic. It showed that the plan in the Constitution for electing leaders worked. Okay, as you can tell, you know, we went from a Democratic president to a Republican president president in 2016 also. So with the way our nation's divided now, it's not quite as peaceful, but back then it worked pretty well. Okay, so Jefferson and the Democratic Republican Party believed states should be stronger than the national government. Jefferson also wanted to help farmers. Federalists disagreed. They wanted a strong national government and laws that would help merchants and manufacturers. A manufacturer is someone who uses machines to make goods. Okay, so the Democratic Republican Party, they were more about um, states having more power and they were more about local, um, like farmers and those kind of people, you know, more local driven type things. And then the Federalists wanted a strong national government and they were more into the big business, kind of a manufacturing type look. Okay, and then you, of course, have a vocabulary word there, so make sure you make a note about that. Okay, now I'm on page 355, the Louisiana Purchase. The year Jefferson was elected, a large area of land west of the Mississippi River came under French control. This land, known as Louisiana, of course, is after King Louis, had been claimed by the French but was given to Spain in 1762 after the French and Indian War. In 1800, France took control of it again. So this whole area was kind of back and forth and back and forth. Now it's in control of the French. The biggest port in Louisiana was the city of New Orleans. American farmers worried that the French would close this port to them. So this was a huge deal. So if you take a look at the map there, New Orleans has a huge port. That is at the delta of the Mississippi River. So think about how high up the Mississippi River goes in the United States. You can have access to a lot of land that way. So they did not want it to be closed to American farmers. Because if you look, we have all the area east of the Mississippi River as of this time. And so we wanted to be able to use that and to be able to go up through New Orleans. Um, so we were worried that they were going to close it. Okay, Jefferson sent representatives to France in 1803. They wanted French ruler Napoleon Bonaparte to agree that U.S. farmers could trade through New Orleans because we still wanted to be able to trade. And Napoleon was the French ruler at the time. You may have heard of him before. To the surprise of the Americans, the French offered to sell all of Louisiana because they needed money for a war against Great Britain. Jefferson was eager to add this huge area of land to the United States, so he bought it. The Louisiana Purchase doubled the size of the country, adding about 828,000 square miles or 530 million acres. So remember that, that's going to be on your assignment there. So if you take a look at the map, the green is what we had before, and the yellow is the Louisiana Purchase. So it doubled the size of the United States, made it much bigger, and is 828,000 square miles, a lot. Okay, then Lewis and Clark. 
Jefferson had always been interested in science and nature. He was curious about the people, land, plants, and animals in this new territory and beyond. He sent an expedition to explore it. So, of course, now he's got all this extra land in his country, and he wants to know what's out there. So he's going to send some people out to study it. Jefferson chose Meriwether Lewis to lead the expedition. Lewis invited his friend William Clark to help. Jefferson asked Lewis and Clark to do three things. First, they were to gather information about the landforms, plants, animals, and climates of the West. Second, he asked them to study the cultures of the Western Indians. Finally, he wanted them to explore the Missouri and Columbia rivers. He hoped they would find a water route to the Pacific Ocean. <coughs> Excuse me. So the main thing he's looking for is a way to get to the other side of the country by water so that they don't have to go in their covered wagons and have everything break down. Okay, but of course, he's not going to find a way all the way across because you're going to see they ran into a huge mountain range known as the Rocky Mountains. So that makes it kind of difficult to get across the country. Okay, so Lewis and Clark set out from St. Louis in May 1804. More than 30 people, almost all of them soldiers, joined Lewis and Clark on their dangerous journey. So it was not just two guys out there exploring that you might think because you just hear about Lewis and Clark. They had 30 people with them. So they had a big group of people coming along with them. Okay, so after this, um, there is a new section at IXL that's social studies that we're able to use. So there's going to be a section, and I'm going to post it on Google Classroom, um, that's related to the Louisiana Purchase. And I want you to do that section. And then after the next two pages that we're going to read, there will be a section on Lewis and Clark for you to do. This is so I can have something to grade so we can keep up with grading and assessment. And so I can make sure you're understanding what I'm teaching you since I can't talk to you right now. So go ahead and take your notes and read along with me like you just did, hopefully. And then log into IXL with your normal password, and you'll go to the social studies section. And I'll tell you which section it is. I can't remember right now. I think it's like section F. But I'll put it on Google Classroom so you know exactly where to go, and you'll complete that section. Okay? Bye, fifth grade.